We are getting our closest look yet at a galaxy far, far away. Disney released the longest trailer to date for the newest Star Wars movie. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Episode 7, The Force Awakens, takes place 30 years after Return of the Jedi. The plot is still a mystery, which you could tell by just watching the trailer, but it did give some clues, including Han Solo saying that the stories told in the original trilogy are all true. The movie hits theaters December 18th. It's projected to break box office records, but we're already seeing that with tickets. People are grabbing them now. A couple of websites internationally, not just here in the U.S., are saying, We've sold thousands and thousands of tickets, and man, this is people are jumping on. They're so excited about this. Yeah, I mean, Star Wars fans are some of the most rabid fan bases, I think, in all of popular culture. And they've been waiting this for a long time. There was a lot of disappointment over the last reboots uh, a decade ago. But people. Jar Jar Binks really know, messed up the whole that thing. That burned a lot of people. <laughs> really did. But I think people are, are cautiously optimistic about this. They like J.J. Abrams. They saw what he did with the Star Trek franchise yeah. and the way those movies turned out so I think people are optimistic I mean these movies have been around for a long time but Nina we were talking about how yesterday our Facebook Twitter just blew up I mean people were talking about this and it's mostly I mean people it's excitement it's not so much the the nervousness I think we saw with the previous right and movie. I think a part of that maybe is I I don't really know a ton about the Star Wars mm -hmm. movies but uh, we were saying it's something that generationally people can get together and, and do together because it's been yeah. around for so long and there's so few franchises or movies sure. that have well, the that movie longevity. Came out, the first movie came out in 1977. I remember watching the Star Wars movies as a kid with my dad. So you think about my dad who's in his 60s, I'm 40, my kids love the movies, Partially because of Lego toys and video games. Sure. You have the Star Wars video games that the kids play. And so they're excited about it. So that's three generations that are into these movies. I also think it's that special. I mean, you remember watching them with your dad. It's I do, It's that special yeah. memory that you have. And actually, one of our viewers, Trevor Evans, he posted this father-son reaction on our morning Facebook page. Hey. Hey. Yes. That is some oh, wow. solid, solid brainwashing by dad there. That Pretty was good. just a graphic. There wasn't even anything on <laughs> the screen, right. and he was getting excited. Yeah. That was what he was most excited about. So Trevor's son, he just turned two. They live in Hutchinson, Minnesota, and I love that because He's that, trying to jump into the screen. He's he so is. excited by it. He's so ready, and he sat there for most of, like, the two-and-a-half-minute trailer just watching kind of in awe. So it's, it's fun to see these memories being made. Already the f some of the first showings here in the Twin Cities are sold out, the oh, 7 wow. o'clock show. But uh, they're going to be showing this thing every half hour on a million screens. Uh -huh. so. yeah. yeah, you can see it if you want. You can see it. <laughs> you can see it. Outside.